Hello, hello, welcome back. As the stock market is flying today, you can see the Nasdaq is up 2.6%. We have an old friend over here doing amazingly well, as it normally does when again the stock market is ripping. That is GameStop. And people, as usual, are interested in buying a stock when it's going higher, not when it's going lower. And uh, they start flocking in when there is the slightest increase in, uh, in the price of the stock. And as you notice here, it used to be around 80, back a couple of days ago, right now it's sitting at 104 or not, 103 right now. And 12% up as I'm making this video. Now, last year it has been down 70%. And so, is it really an opportunity? Is it a time to buy GameStop? What's going on with this company? Remember, this one has been a company that has uh, achieved some uh, pretty strong growth because of uh, large short interest, where actually people kept buying the stock and it kept increasing because there was a short squeeze and so a lot of institutes actually had to uh, actually uh, buy back shares in order to cover their short positions. Now let's take a look at what's going on with the company though. The P-E ratio is negative. Uh, you could kind of expect it. This is a company that is not making money and so it is uh, going negative in terms of P-E ratio and the same thing with price to free cash flow ratio. Now lately they have bought back some shares surprisingly and so the outstanding shares are less than I would expect. But the free cash flow to total liabilities ratio is negative because again we don't have free cash flow. Pretty much everything about this company is a, is a red signal here. 5 year revenue growth has been going down, 5 year net income growth has been going down, 5 year free cash flow growth has also been going down and the same thing with the total equity of the company going down every year. And so uh, the company doesn't have a lot of debt which is good compared to, compared to the equity of the company. Uh, but the returns of uh, returns on equity, return on assets, capital employed uh, are horrible, they are negative and it, net income margin is also negative here. And so the company is not really profitable is the big problem with it. And if we take a look at the income statement reports here, you will see that uh, in 2018 it used to have 8.5 billion in revenue and this has fallen quite some, although it did, it did increase in the last year, still down quite significantly at 6 billion right now. So the company is losing sales, that's never a good thing for a company to see, especially when it happens in a series of years over here as you'll see. Although 2022 has been better, 18% higher than the previous years. Now if we take a look at the net income though, it's problematic because the company is losing money. And the last uh, year that they made money was 2018. Since then, it's been going negative and negative and negative. And that's a thing that you hate to see, of course. If we take a look at the balance sheet, you will see that uh, the total equity of the company has also been going down 2.2 billion to 1.6 billion over here. And that's another bad thing that you want to see from a company having decreasing e total equity, especially when they are not making extra money to make new equity. And uh, net income again is laid out here and we can use it to derive uh, our uh, cash from operating activities. Again, it is in the negative because it, we started with a pretty negative net income position here. A little bit of depreciation, amortization and stock-based compensation added back will not uh, affect these numbers tremendously. Yet uh, we are still looking at uh, negative free cash flow as you'll see here. Pretty, pretty much negative actually, back uh, something similar to what they had two years ago. It's only last year that it was much better over here. But uh, net cash for, for investing activities has also been negative, uh, just investing a little bit for the company. And over here you will see in terms of financing, this is uh, very, very positive. The company got quite some debt, but actually they didn't get debt, they issued common stock in uh, 2022 actually. So this is going to be increasing the outstanding shares uh, quite substantially because this is 1.6 billion over here. So the company needs to be funding themselves and they need to be issuing shares or getting debt. So for now they're get issuing shares because it's much, much cheaper. So if we take a look at the stock evaluation tool, uh, we can try to, def to decide which kind of uh, price it, uh, it makes sense to pay for the company, if any. And um, you will see here that the net income, the, ne uh, the revenue growth of the company has only been positive last year. And then it was uh, like far year, five years ago when it was lastly positive. So it's tough to predict what the company is going to be doing, but since they have fallen a lot, I would, I'm willing to predict that they will grow a little bit in the next five years, let's just say three, five and seven percent. And so the net income uh, that the company has been generated has, has generating has been negative and um, for the most part at least. And so their net income margins are in negative territory. Again, we have to be 
marginally positive here because otherwise it doesn't really make sense to try to deduce a value for a company that's not making any money in the next five years. And the free cash flow margin that I want to be using here is I'm going to go to a relatively normal level of like 80, 90 and 100 percent. And an annual return of 13 percent is what I typically want to make out of any single stock. So let's see with this kind of projections which are not conservative, they are relatively, relatively aggressive. What are we getting in terms of the stock price to pay today? So, as you'll see, our current price is sitting at 103 and our low is at 28.6 with a medium of 58 and high of 98. This used to be much worse when the stock price was like 300, but still, we are far from what I would like it to be, especially with uh, when these projections are already a little bit optimistic here. So, I would say that for GameStop, it would have to decline massively in order for me to even consider buying it. Maybe in the low 10s or something of that sort would be where I would be willing to buy lower than this low price, to tell you the truth. And even then, I would really consider it because I'm not really sure about how the company is going to be doing in the next few years. Now, of course, the company is trading because it's a ticker symbol. And right now, as you'll see, it's going to be up and down a lot, as you'll see again. Uh, almost two percent up since i started recording the video so this happens a lot because we have a massively positive sentiment and uh, the market is ripping us also today and so when that happens you're going to be seeing this kind of meme stock sort of and companies that have enjoyed uh, massive upside for uh, reasons <laughs> really in this case a short squeeze they can go higher and uh, keep increasing their social trends as you'll see here the social trends from gamestop have been going higher and higher in terms of stock tweets where it's mentioned pretty much all the time so yeah it's uh, it's becoming the talk of the town again and so this is why it's uh, it's getting some traction as you can as you can see here so yeah that's what i wanted to talk about in terms of uh, game stock worthwhile examining but probably not worthwhile buying right now and i think i will avoid for the time being and just monitor and see what's going on in case it falls tremendously in which case we may have another video about it. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one. So in the meantime, remember to like and subscribe and you can always become a Patreon and get access to this tool, unlimited access. So you can find all the links in the description box below. And in the meantime, take a look at this video that I made earlier and I'm discussing Alibaba and what are they doing in terms of their uh, earnings report that's upcoming. What are we expecting from them in the next few weeks? Thanks again and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.